Understanding the phrase, save one's bacon. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English idiom that might sound a bit quirky at first. Save one's bacon. This phrase is commonly used in English, and understanding its meaning and usage can add a fun and colloquial touch to your language skills. So, let's explore what it means to save one's bacon and how you can use this expression in everyday conversations. Save one's bacon is an idiom that means to prevent harm or loss, especially in a close call or by a narrow margin. It's used when someone or something prevents a bad situation from happening or helps to avoid a serious problem. Interestingly, this phrase has nothing to do with the food bacon itself. It's a metaphorical expression that has been part of the English language for many years. The origin of save one's bacon is not entirely clear, but it's believed to date back to the early 20th century. Some theories suggest that bacon was a slang term for one's body or self, so saving your bacon meant protecting yourself from harm. Over time, the phrase evolved to include saving others or situations from negative outcomes. To help you grasp how to use save one's bacon in conversation, let's look at a few examples. 1. I almost missed the deadline, but my coworker saved my bacon by helping me finish the project on time. 2. The quick-thinking pilot saved everyone's bacon when he successfully landed the plane during a storm. Notice how the phrase is used in situations where a disaster or a problem is averted thanks to someone's actions. While save one's bacon is understood and used in many English-speaking countries, it's particularly popular in British and American English. It's seen as a light-hearted and slightly informal way to express gratitude or relief when a difficult situation is avoided. And that's a wrap on Save One's Bacon. This charming and slightly humorous idiom is a great addition to your English vocabulary, especially if you enjoy expressions that add color and personality to your language. Remember, idioms like this are a window into the culture and history of the English language. Happy learning, and I hope this video has saved your bacon in understanding English idioms.